Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. And what I'm gonna do today is walk you through my version of the Jennifer Lawrence haircut. One of the biggest haircuts right now you're seeing is this trend. Um, and the greatest thing about it for me is that this haircut is so versatile, you can style it in so many different ways. So we're gonna start off um, just parietal ridge sectioning on both sides down to a point in the back that's basically low crown area. Then what I'm gonna do is take a vertical section straight down the back and then diagonal forward sections just below occipital bone. You can see right now how I'm working there. So finger angle is diagonal forward. And the key to this part is that I'm actually walking around that corner. So I'm not just cutting a straight line. You'll see me take fine sections and just work my way around that edge so that I don't leave too much weight sitting in that back corner. So it's gonna round it off slightly. I'm gonna work my way up this section. Everything is gonna be coming basically straight out from the head, maybe a slight uh, lower elevation, but for the most part, everything is just straight out from the head as I work up to that occipital bone area. Again, walking around that corner, you'll see I readjust and I change my finger angle to follow the curve of the head. This is just gonna give it a softer feel. And you wanna make sure that anytime you're cutting something and you don't want too much weight, you just walk that corner. The corner is what's creating all of the weight because the head's starting to move away from you. There we go, you can see it's nice and soft, just real soft layers laying there. And again, I don't like to speed these haircuts up because I like you to see every little detail that's happening because every detail is important in creating a precise haircut. So again, nice fine sections. I could have brought that little tiny piece into it, but I want to work this. There still would have been extra over direction in that piece if I would have tried to take it all at once. So you want to make sure, even though it's a little bit of hair left, don't rush yourself and you know grab what you just grab what's gonna be, I guess the right piece is what I'm trying to say. So I drop that little tiny piece down and we'll finish off this, this section. You can see my elevation, it's not changing. Now I'm just gonna go through a little scissor over comb, just working up, dusting the ends. I don't want, I'm not looking for big mistakes. If I see that, then I wanna go back in and cut, but. So I went diagonal forward with my cut. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm basically cross-checking using scissor over comb. So just going through there, dusting off the ends, making sure everything looks nice. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this opposite side here. The tricky part about this uh, sectioning, uh, working on the opposite side, is that you're gonna start low and work high. Um, so my scissors start at the tip of my finger here, and um, and I'm working obviously from the, the neckline to the occipital bone this way. So I just wanna make sure that I go back in and I make that curve like I was telling you before. You just want to follow the curve of the head and make sure you do that. You can see my fingers kinda of tuck in there just to follow that line. You can see as I take my, my section, I'm only grabbing uh, just what I need, just enough of that uh, guideline so I'm not pulling too much hair from the bottom. Because the further you pull that hair, it's gonna make your guide seem shorter even though it's really not. So you'll end up cutting a hole in your haircut that you didn't want before. So again, just following that line, you can see a nice crisp, clean look to it. Nice small sections is you know the biggest tip I can give you on this part. Watch your elevation on this because now my elbow's in the air, so my hand naturally is gonna wanna drop down. So I just gotta make sure I keep in my mind that elevation is straight out from the head.
All right, and again, diagonal back. I cut diagonal forward. So now I'm gonna go in, cross check it, scissor over comb, uh, diagonal back. Shouldn't be much to cut there. All right, we're gonna let down both of the side sections and I'm gonna section it from the division point in the head. So push the front to the front and the back to the back and just really uh, keeping those two things separate because there is a big corner right there that we're gonna be working with. Everything's gonna come directly vertical. Now I'm working on top of my fingers and I'm gonna draw a straight line at the beginning. Right now I'm drawing a straight line up into the air. So I'm not curving my finger, I'm not following the round of the head here. I wanna leave a little bit of a weight line in this haircut. So, traveling guide, keep working through. This angle will show you that line that we're working with. Straight up in the air, it'll leave a little bit of weight right at that point there. Which is good for somebody, because even if you look at Jennifer Lawrence, she's got a little bit of a rounder head. So it leaves the weight um, an extra bulk in the back of the head, and it just makes the head look more proportioned correctly. So working our way straight up. Now you're gonna see my section starts to work around even more of the round of the head. If you look at the very top of that section, the head's starting to peel away. So what you're gonna notice is at this point, on my next section, I'm gonna follow the head a little bit more because I don't wanna leave too much weight. So as we start to round that head a little more, I'm gonna round off what I'm cutting. You'll see that little extra bit of elevation. I'm not going completely 90 degrees because I don't. I still do want a slight weight line, but I'm elevating it more than I was. I'm not just cutting that straight line up in the air. So we'll cut straight up in the air here, then another comb and just a slight bend around that corner and remove that a little bit of extra weight there. We're gonna do that all the way through this next part. This was most comfortable for me working on top of my fingers through the whole thing. You could switch palm to palm here if you want, but it just works best for me this way. Sometimes when I have a guest in the chair, it's easier at this point to be cutting it palm to palm, but you know, it just depends on the height of the head. The mannequin, I had it up a little higher. Okay, now again, we're, now we're working on the opposite side, right hand side of her head. We're going to be um, elevating straight out and working straight up just like we did in the, the past or the previous section. This angle you'll really get to see how I'm following the round once I get past that point uh, in the back right under the crown. Once I get past that then I start to follow the round of the head a little bit more. So basically working straight up right now, and then as I get around this corner here, yeah. so you're gonna see me following it more now. Start off straight up in the air, then recomb, follow the round a little bit more. So my finger angle you'll see just slightly changes. I'm showing you where the round is. So at that point, the head is rounding off. So my finger angle changes and I just take off that slight bit of weight in there. Real simple.
something I want to point out to you guys, we, uh, while well, we're working on this section, everything's basically the same right here. Um, make sure you check out freesaloneducation.com because we have over now a hundred haircutting videos, color videos, um, all kinds of different videos for hairdressers to learn from, and they're all free. So if you get a chance, go to freesaloneducation.com and you can check them out. Again, just working on that round of the head there. So you can see that little bit of weight kind of building up, but it's not too much, um, which is going to be easier for your guests to style, and, um, and it just looks better in the overall picture of the haircut. Notice when I'm cutting, even on top of my fingers, just that one blade is moving. And that's something, if you don't have that down yet, make sure you work on that because it's just going to make your lines so much crisper in your cuts. As you can see, nice flow to the back. Everything looks balanced. Now we're going to work on the side. And hopefully, I think I'm going to pull up a picture. Yeah, there, there we go. A uh, picture of of Jennifer Lawrence and what you can see is right around the ear it's a lot tighter so what I'm gonna do is section this into two sections we'll have our top half which will clip away and then the underneath right around the ear I'm gonna take a diagonal forward section and I'm gonna take that really tight to the head so it's almost like we're gonna undercut this point this portion um, because it's a mannequin I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer but um, we're gonna undercut it a little bit Working diagonal forward, traveling guide. So I'm not trying to build up a, a long um, kind of sideburn area. Uh, we don't really want that there. So I'm traveling the guide and just so there'll be a slight bit of weight because of the diagonal forward section. Now I'm going to work on top of the head on the top section. Still diagonal forward, but instead of cutting palm to palm, now I'm going to work on top of my fingers. So I'm going to use that bottom piece as a guide. And I'm going to cut shorts along in there and remove that weight. This point, I'm, I am following the round of the head, so you'll see that happening. That gives it that kind of push forward. You'll see in her hair, it's layered and pushed forward, um, almost like it's triangular, but it, there's no weight into it. So um, this technique helps break it up. If you wanted even a little bit piecier, you could point cut at this point. But I like to build the structure in there and I'll point cut it when it's dry. And I'm combing from the underneath up. For me, I like that because it's me basically uh, keeping that guideline in there and just taking small sections and, and working through. So. Separate the bottom and the top, just a little bit of hair at a time, working through diagonal forward and removing the weight. 90 degrees at this point, uh, basically straight out from the head. And you can see it falls forward really nice, just like the look you're seeing in the picture, um, except on a mannequin, obviously. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, so we're going to section off half of it. The top's going to go away. We're going to do a little slight undercut cutting diagonal forward in our fingers, palm to palm. Kind of an underneath view. Thaddeus is getting very creative in this part of it. But it shows a good angle there. Now we're going to work on top of our fingers again using the bottom section as our guideline. When you're working with your scissor and you get that one blade moving, the great thing about it is you're going to have your steady blade resting against your finger and then the cutting blade is going to come down and cut it. So you have less of a chance of cutting yourself if you're just moving that one blade.
You can see following the round of the head there, that's all 90 degrees. Straight out from the head and following the round. So um, there won't, shouldn't be too much of a weight buildup in there. Here we go, just finishing it up. And again, don't take too much hair. So that little tiny bit that I had left, I don't just add that to my section just to get done with the haircut. You section it off and then you can uh, just finish it off with that little bit. All right, still a nice even flow to the haircut. Very weightless because we're working on 90 degree angles. Now I'm gonna split the front and the back of the head again. So we're going to be working in the back crown area first, then we can work on the front. I like to separate these in, in most haircuts because the crown of the head is definitely, you're going to work it differently. So I want to work with the calyx here. So depending on how much of a calyx they have, I may um, do less tension, I guess. Um, would be a good way to put it. So right now I'm gonna work that straight up line that we were working before in the back. I'm gonna work straight up in the air and that'll again leave some weight uh, right in the crown area so that they have that kind of proportioned head, head shape look um, just to give them a little extra volume and kick in the back. So you see basically straight up in the air. I'm gonna work traveling guide Everything coming straight out. You wouldn't want to over direct this all to the center because what's going to happen is too much weight's going to build up. Just because you can't really see it in this, but um, my partings for that are just following the round of the head. So a slight diagonal back, straight out from the head, and then I'm just cutting that straight line, straight up towards the ceiling. Now you'll be able to see the sectioning basically that I had on the other side. So you can see there is a weight line, but it's not too much. It's not too extreme in there. Now we're going to take everything and over direct it just to the center uh, division point. So basically the high point of the head, we're going to over direct everything back to that and we're going to cut a short to long. We're going to use the uh, basically the hair, the hair right around the occipital bone. We're going to use that as a guideline and cut uh, straight up. Bas we're going to be creating a triangular feel to the top of the head. So cutting short to long. Putting all that hair in my hands and just combing it back. Just don't comb it back too far because you don't want to push too much hair to the very front of the head. Grab the rest from the fringe and over direct it back to center back. not centered back, high point of the head. There we go. You can see cutting shorts along and we're going to do the opposite, the th same thing on the other side, but we're going to be standing in front of the head so that we're still cutting that short to long. Your heaviest point will be right down the center of this haircut. 
So I'm pushing it away from my body, over the apex or high point of the head, cutting shorts along. There we go, that's almost the end of the haircut. We're gonna do a little bit of a fringe cut right now. So we're gonna over direct everything. I'm gonna pull it towards me, diagonally, and work our fringe. So no matter what you wanna do, if you wanna do this to go from uh, your right side to your left side, you're gonna pull everything to the right side. So whatever side your part is on, you're gonna pull the hair to that side and just cut it. Work your way diagonal uh, forward on the head and just over direct it to yourself and cut it there we go and you can see it gives us a nice side fringe uh, in the haircut now we're gonna do a flat wrap for the blow dry real quick I'm not even gonna show you all of this just kind of show you how the haircut is is coming out we're using Freestyle Systems. They're a good partner of a uh, of freesaloneducation.com. We really appreciate their support and they're supporting free salon education as well. So it's just a hanging blow dryer system. It's really, really great for, for doing a blow dry. Now we're gonna go through and smooth the top of the head, working diagonal forward there. And there you go, that's our dry result without any dry cutting. Now we're gonna go through and point cut the top. And what I'm going to do is start mid shaft on the hair and work um, basically parallel to the hair so that I'm not removing a ton of weight in there. I just want to take little tiny hairs out of it just to free up a little bit of the weight in there. And then I'll shift to the top of the section and point cut in there some more to remove some more weight. So we'll start again mid shaft here. Break up some of that weight in the mid shaft. Then we're going to go to the ends and break up some weight in there. Point cutting is not meant to change the shape of the haircut, so what's most important to remember right here is that um, you know you don't want to take out too much hair or destroy the line that you created in the haircut. So you can see that heavy point right in the center. That's what you want in this haircut because it gives it that kind of freedom to move around in the top. There we go. You can see those layers building up through there. Some of those shorter hairs in there from the point cutting are going to help give it some texture, volume in there. Now we're gonna go through and just do a little slide cut right around the face frame. That'll break up those pieces in there. Now another point cutting technique, I'm just gonna work, let the hair kind of fall down and point cut as, as it releases. So hold it in my fingers, kind of pull my hand away and then work the point cutting in there. We do the same thing on the back. So I'll take the scissor and lift up the hair. And as it falls down, just point cutting. I'm keeping those scissors straight on to the head so they're not removing too much weight. In just cuts little pieces right around the crown area. And again, in the crown, now I'm gonna go with a really deep point cut, which will give a lot of volume in the crown. And again, just some fun pieces. They, Give this haircut a little bit of a uh, little style, a little difference. In the fringe area, a little tease cutting just to remove some more, a little bit of, you know, weight in there. You'll see that, that with the tease cutting in this, we've talked about it before, but um, real heavy tease because that'll remove weight, but it it's not going to cut a big line in the haircut. So... We go a little bit more and that is our haircut we're gonna use our indie powder um, I really like this because it creates a ton of texture you're about to see um, just right through there and that is our Jennifer Lawrence inspired haircut big deal right now and uh, you can see Pretty similar, especially because that one is a mannequin, so we're obviously not going to look the same or it's not going to look as good. But hope you guys like that haircut. Please check out more haircuts on freesaloneducation.com and support companies 
to help support us, Freestyle Systems, and Millennium Software. And uh, thank you guys, and we'll see you at the next video.